The car behind me is definitely one that you're familiar with. If you haven't owned one yourself, you definitely know somebody who has. That's the Honda Civic, and it's been completely redesigned for the 2022 model year. We're gonna tell you everything you need to know about the new Civic, and we're gonna take it for a drive as well. I'll say right away that this definitely looks different than the car that it replaces, but I'm not sure that it looks any better. And we broke down the full design of this in our first look video, and that's linked above. But right now, let me give you the spark notes. The touring trim we have here is pretty restrained, but it does sport these nice 18 inch alloy wheels. The car gets full LED lighting elements. And then there's my favorite thing that I wanna point out, and that's this character line. It starts at the very front of the car and it runs its way back completely uninterrupted all the way to the rear three quarter panel. Taken as a whole, the exterior is pretty plain, but the good news is that the interior more than makes up for it. This is where Honda is going to win over customers at the dealership. The interior in this Civic feels like such a huge step up over the outgoing model. The Mazda 3 is my favorite car in this segment when it comes to interior quality, and this feels darn near as nice as that car. The name of the game in here is clean and simple design, and that starts with this big metallic piece, this kind of cool honeycomb texture to it. It runs all the way from the steering wheel to the end of the passenger side of the dash. And when you go to open and close the air vents, you're met with this really satisfying clicking noise. The same goes for these three dials right here. Scroll it to the left or to the right, and there's this great tactile feedback. It makes it feel expensive, like your money is going to the right places. My favorite part, weirdly enough, is the center console. It doesn't look particularly exciting, but Honda chose this nice fingerprint resistant material. So when you're putting coffee and drinks and things in here, you're not gonna grub it up. It's gonna look nice and stand the test of time. Because this is the touring trim, we get every piece of tech that Honda can throw at this thing. And that means this really nice nine inch touchscreen and this 10 inch digital instrument cluster. Get used to seeing these two things because they're gonna be a lot more prominent on Honda models going forward. I love this touchscreen. I had two gripes with the old Civic, really lousy infotainment and a crappy audio system to go with it. And this car fixes both of those issues. Interacting with the screen is easier than it was before. Everything's big, kind of like an app on your iPhone, where you just scroll through like this and it's all easy to find. With this nine inch touchscreen, we also get wireless CarPlay. So that means you take your phone without the cord, drop it right here on the wireless charging pad, go over to CarPlay, and you're good to go. This is the first Honda to use a Bose audio system, and it's great. It's loud as hell, and it makes streaming from Spotify and Apple Music a breeze. Finally behind the wheel of the new Civic. Let's see what's up. Starting with the engine, there are two to pick from. There's a two liter four cylinder with 158 horsepower. That's gonna be standard, and that pairs to a CVT transmission. We're driving the more powerful of the two. That's gonna be a turbocharged 1.5 liter four cylinder. That's good for 180 horsepower also pairs to a CVT. Those looking for a little more flair with their Civic's look will likely go for the Sport model. It's priced well too, below $24,000, and it packs 18 inch alloy wheels, black exterior accents, keyless entry, and an eight speaker surround sound system. This trim is the best balance between budget and fun. And right off the bat, let me tell any enthusiast watching this, this feels like a fantastic foundation for the faster Civic models to come. And that's of course the Civic Si and the Civic Type R. As a baseline, this is great. There's plenty of power, we're going uphill right now. 180 horsepower feels just fine. Just like the old Civic, there's a bit of turbo lag before you get going, but I actually have to give compliments to the CVT. It doesn't inhibit the driving experience at all. It stays out of its own way and it has really nice manners. If you're going to gripe about the CVT over a different transmission option, you are probably going to get the Civic Si anyway. I also really enjoy the steering feel in this car, which might be surprising for a Civic. But you know what? It communicates extremely well and you know exactly what's going on with the front wheels. That's kind of why I like front wheel drive cars so much in general. If you're buying one of these, you're pretty much automatically going to become the designated driver for a road trip. And that's not a bad thing. You're already set up when it comes to the Bose sound system, the wireless CarPlay, but Honda's also got you covered on the safety front. Honda Sensing comes standard on every new Civic, so that means regardless of which trim you buy, you're going to get adaptive cruise control. That does two things. When you hit this little button right here and put it into adaptive cruise, 
the car is gonna monitor the one in front of you so it doesn't crash into it. It'll speed up and slow down all on its own while keeping the speed you want it to. Then we get lane centering, which if you keep your hands on the wheel just like this, it'll stay in the center of the lane and not ping pong back and forth. Those two things combined on a long stretch of road trip, it's nice and relaxing just to sit back and let the car do the majority of the work. The other road trip kudos I gotta give this thing is just how comfortable it is. Honda worked hard to actually reduce the noise that comes through so you can focus on things like listening to music. And the other part is the suspension is really nicely damped. Other cars in this class like the Corolla are just a bit too stiff, but the Civic gets it just right. The new Civic has the difficult task of going up against a segment full of fantastic options like the Toyota Corolla, Hyundai Elantra, Volkswagen Jetta, and Mazda 3, just to name a few. So despite adding tons of new equipment and dramatically increasing material quality, we're impressed that Honda managed to keep the pricing increase to a minimum. The 2022 Civic starts at just $21,700, while the Sport model asks just $23,100. The car featured in this video, which is a fully loaded touring model, checks in at a still reasonable $28,300. That's exactly what Honda needed to do to keep this car competitive. So where does that leave us with the new Civic? Well, you know what you're getting, right? It's a fun to drive, economical car that really didn't have to change too much for Honda to keep selling these things and the numbers that they do. But they went ahead and made some really thoughtful improvements anyway, specifically to the interior, the technology, and they did those things without increasing the price of this. So you put all that together and I think you're looking at the new best compact sedan on the market. 